Well, congratulations on Military Wives, you guys. I love, love, love that. It sang its way to my heart. Oh, I'm so glad. Get over your uh, Christian and Sharon sandwich there. It's. <laughs> I'm part of a military wife too. Yeah. Can you say? <laughs> of course. Um, well, you guys are amazing in it, and your characters—it's almost to me like the brain and the heart, the yin and the yang, if you may. Now, let's talk about your characters for a bit. What got you in interested in playing? Let's begin with you, Miss Kristen, playing Kate, the brain, um, the Colonel's wife. <laughs> the colonel's wife, the colonel's wife who wants everything to be just so and the way she thinks it ought to be. There's no room for anybody else to have any ideas and she's sort of straight. Uh, she's a, um, a career uh, military person. She knew exactly what she was getting into when she married. Um, she has one son who she, they've lost a son tragically. Um, but he was also in the army and now her husband has gone off to do more fighting and she's trying to be very brave about it. Oh, it's my fifth tour, I'll be fine, you know, stop worrying about me. And then um, she's faced with Lisa's character who's very different. That's yes. right, Miss Lisa is the, pa the passionate Lisa, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I suppose she is. She's, um, she's definitely dealing with it in a, in a completely different way. I mean, when her husband leaves, she just sort of wants to pack every sort of reminder of him out of the way. And then she just wants to drink wine and kind of forget about it. But I think, I mean, in, actually that's really unhealthy. I mean, it, it works, you, 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 can, you can use that method, but um, in, in the long run, it's much healthier to get with a group of women and all sing together. I think just at the point that she's at when we join her in the film, she can't even imagine doing something as organized or also she can't imagine being told what to do by Kate. That's the main sort of, she just does right. not like that. <laughs> yeah, and you guys really sang in the film, right? I mean, uh, tell us that experience. I mean, it must be feel, you must felt kind of vulnerable when you're doing that. Very, very vulnerable, surprisingly vulnerable. And, um, and then by the end, just so sort of empowered, I think is the word, because we had this beautiful song to sing that had been written specifically for the film by Guy Chambers and Robbie Will, um, Williams. And um, it was just it, it's such a beautiful song. And we were all really looking forward to singing it. And left it till the end. So that was one of the last days of shooting that we got to actually sing the song. Um, and, and just to be, to know that on your own, the voice isn't so great, but if you sing with a lot of other people and you sing the bits that you you can sing, then you can make a beautiful sound. Oh, and you know what really at the end though, it's the healing power of music. And according to the movie, it makes you stronger together. Exactly what we need during the pandemic, right? Exactly what we need. Oh, yeah. Quickly, I love the 80s songs. I love the soundtrack. What's your favorite, ultimate favorite feel good 80s um, song? Oh, uh, um, Best of my, no, that's 70s. Um, oh, it has to be something by Wham. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> what about you, Michelle? Well, I mean, I think Duran Duran. They, they, were, they were my favorite, but I can't think of any song off the top of my head. So oh, just. I'm Madonna. <laughs> Madonna. Thank you so much, you guys. Your music to my ears, and thank you for making me feel good. Thank You're you. Keep safe. Bye bye. 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 bye.